this is Garrett J. White, the authentic entrepreneur, coming at you real, Ron Relevant here with a daily download. Okay, so today's been intense. I'm gonna talk about a couple things, then we're gonna go view the activity of the noche with me and my familia. So here's here's a thing that I can't figure out. <laughs> Why is it when you say something just like normal? that nobody says anything. Like if you say something, it could even be profound, but it's like normal. Like people are used to hearing it or it's expected to be said and nobody responds. So today I tested this thing on Facebook. I wanted to see what would happen if I posted a bunch of thoughts. Honestly, I was at this workshop and I was kind of bored with what was going on in the speaker that was speaking and so I started tweeting and Facebooking about this idea about this issue I was having with this guy that was bigger, had a, was over 100 pounds overweight next to me and his breathing, sweating, etc. And I, and I really, really wasn't that big of an issue, honestly. I have a lot of people in my life and my world who have, have a lot of weight on their body. I really don't have too much of an issue with it whatsoever. Um, and I would say very rarely the judgment comes up and it came up just a smidge, but I was bored. So I started tweeting out and texting out all these ideas and go on my Facebook page uh, and check that out, Gary J. White, uh, The Authentic Entrepreneur, my fan page and check that out. But but I'm posting it out and everybody responds. I get like 25 responses per time that I declare it because it's something that goes against the grain. But if I said something normal like, today's a nice day, today's a nice day, then everybody does what? Nothing, I like it, thumb up. I like it, thumb up, or I don't like it, thumb down. But you say something controversial and wham, everybody wants to talk about it. So today a lot of controversy came up. That was just one thing and I, I'm wondering what your thoughts are on this and where you're at and why it is that we don't seem to get a thrive off, of, you know, pretty much describe why our media is the way it is. You know, we live and die, it appears, based on the dramatic, based upon, based upon the extreme situations and it's only when things get extreme that we tend to get focused and be like, oh yeah, I'm totally interested and I got an opinion. But if it's something normal like, hey, you know what, I had a wonderful day and today I'm spiritually on fire. Nobody says anything, but if I say, I ran a damn marathon this morning, everybody's like, woo, me too. I, I, I'm saying that I don't respond that way either. Kind of weird why we need the extremes to get our attention, right? So, other thing here with the download, um, I've decided that when it rains, it pours. What I mean by that is when like, when like shit hits the fan and people show up in your life and it's like everything happens for like this crazy reason. So I experience all these breakthroughs spiritually, I experience all these breakthroughs financial, all these breakthroughs in my life. And it's like I'm a couple months ahead of this whole world of my friends. And then it's like bam, 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 bam. So last year I had all these issues with my life and my family and trying to figure things out with my life. And I was totally confused about who I am and what do I stand for and where am I going? What's my purpose? And yeah. And then it's like five, six months later, it's like all my friends are going through the same thing. And today, I got five different friends, five, one, two, three, four, five. I went to breakfast, I went to lunch, I went to two different meetings this afternoon and talked to one of my friends tonight. And every single one of them facing the same thing. Marriage issues, money issues, family issues, personal issues, self-worth issues, trust issues, etc. So here's the thing that I got to. I believe that when you are ready, as Buddha, as the Buddha says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And yet I'm gonna change it around too, and that is when the teacher is ready, the students will appear. So consider that it goes both ways. So when the student's ready, the teacher will appear, but when the teacher's ready, the students will appear at the same time. So anyways, that's the daily download for today. We're gonna to get a little view of my family tonight because my daughter and my wife are participating in what we call extreme, extreme marshmallow roasting. Normally, we do things not so normal around here. We do things the natural way. And naturally, Hotty Monk, what are you doing? Working this on fire. This is our version of camping. Camping, this is a that's just about as close as my wife gets to camping. Babe, Bailey, are we camping? Yeah. Where's your tent? That's a marshmallow. Put it on the fire. Let's see how it goes. Not too close because it lights it on fire, we found. Yeah, how about oh. them apples? Okay, my wife's burning hers. Okay, what do you think? Put it on there, Bailey. Uh, you sweetheart, you're going to have to get a little bit closer. Notice the distance between your marshmallow and the fire. You're going to need to get focused. Hurry up and get it over there. Oh, careful. Yeah, it's hot? hot. Don't touch your lips. It's holding. not too hot. It's fine. Put it right over there. No, no, hold the end of it, baby. Hold it down here. Down like here. Hold this big part. Wait. Babe, so what are your thoughts about marshmallow roasting in the house? I already had one. It was good. It was good? Mm -hmm. Are we making s'mores? Yeah. Uh, no, no. chocolate or graham crackers. No oh. chocolate. Oh, burnt. That one's for me. It's smoking. I like it. Let's look into the blue flame. The blue flame. 
All right, so anyways, this is Garrett J. White, The Authentic Entrepreneur, signing off for this daily download. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Get focused. Why do we have to have extremes to get our attention? Secondly, why is it that we seem to be the teachers and when we're ready, the students will appear, but vice versa, when we're the student, the teacher seems to appear. And then last one, getting focused, doing a little marshmallow roasting. Babe, any last words for all of our fans of the daily download? That'd be a no. She gave his finger. Hey, Bailey, any last words for our friends? What? You want to say anything to our friends? What are you going to say? We're playing marshmallows. We're roasting marshmallows. Okay, cool. So we're roasting marshmallows. There you have it. So be real, be raw, be authentic. Most importantly, hold on. Damn it, I said that wrong. Be raw, be real, be relevant. But most importantly, be authentic. This is Garrett J. White. See ya.